I found my dream basement. We recently asked you guys if you knew of any cool man caves. Well, you delivered and then some. Check this out. Brian Edwards' basement is pretty sweet. There's a foosball table, ping pong, shuffleboard, and a bar. But this isn't your typical tucked in a corner basement bar. It's the home plate pub. It's a dive bar he built to replace his desire to open a real bar with paying customers. I don't want to get home at 3 o'clock in the morning. And... It even has golden tea. The thing the home plate pub didn't have when it was first framed up was a countertop. We poured a concrete countertop. It was so thick that the weight of it bowed everything and broke. So he had to come up with something else, and what he ended up with was bottle caps. So I bought 7,000 caps. With the help of a friend, he created this. There's a cardinal uh, redbird holding a bat here, an STL with an arch over it over here. So I would guess somewhere around 5,000 caps were used to do the top of this. Instead of tossing out the leftover caps, he formed an American flag. And it turned out really nice, and a buddy's like, I gotta get one. Another friend echoed the same sentiment, and before he knew it, he had his hands full with requests. I did a kind of retro looking cardinal um, holding a bat uh, for Jason Mott and his charity. When I saw how much it sold for and who was bidding on it, I was like, okay, maybe I ought to try something else. He's done cool STLs, the Blues logo, big M's from Mizzou, and Florida Lees. I hand press every cap I use for the most part. Now, if I'm working on an American flag and I need a bunch of blue Bud Lights, there's a good chance there's a stack of them in this house someplace. It's a side project that has become custom cap art and given him a chance to meet Eric Church and several others. Bear Jackman, Jeremy Macklin. They are works of art that are hanging in several restaurants and bars, real ones. Every Hot Shots, the Corner Pub. He's also done more than he can count for charities. It's a passion project that emerged from another passion project. A cool concept worthy of raising a bottle to. So he's now done more than 200, and this isn't his full-time job. So Brian hasn't had time to update his website, but you can contact him there, customcapart.com. The best way to see his work is through Facebook and Instagram. Just search Custom Cap Art. Cool stuff, right?